welcome back to another video where today we are doing another tutorial and I have made a really compact doorbell. So this is a doorbell. I mean you could always go with the simple just this. You don't really need all of this. So you could just go with something extremely simple like this. like that and then just have your door right here just have your door somewhere right there you know what I mean and then just place stuff right there so you could do it somewhere like this but we of course made this very compact <coughs> sorry and did something like this so you're going to press the button it'll activate the doorbell and then you'll be inside your house, and then you'll be alerted when somebody's here with these redstone lamps right here. <clears throat> and then how you turn it off is you get up from watching TV all day, and then you break that for the redstone circuit to be done, and then you place it back in, and then it's off. <clears throat> so that is what I'm going to be showing you today. Now let's get right into it. So obviously the first thing that you're going to want to do is make your basic doorbell just like how you normally would. We're just going to build ourselves a platform here. <clears throat> let's get a door. We don't need this. I was trying to find a, a better way to turn this off, but I just couldn't. I mean, I know redstone, but not that well. So let's get a door. Which is kind of the main reason what we need. Where is a door? Uh, do I really have to do this? D O O. There we go. Door. I'm just gonna go with the plain old oak door. Okay. Um. This is kind of annoying me. There we go. Now it's even. All right. So you're going to make your walls. You're going to have some walls, of course, in your bed, or in your house. And then you're going to place your button right here. Because that's going to be your doorbell button. And then, get some more blocks in here. You're going to have redstone. This is why I wanted to like, have two over here, because you're going to have redstone going into over here. You're going to have redstone going down like that and here is where the business starts wait oh shoot not that the real redstone kind of kicks in so you're just going to build the first thing just a normal doorbell pretty easy all you do is just something like that you can have an air block to make that sound and then just do the same thing over here press this it will make the ding dong oh I forgot to put this in here never mind it won't make the ding dong yet there we go so make a normal doorbell so if you want a normal doorbell just go with this okay that will be better but if you want a compact doorbell here's where the big redstone comes in so you want to make a Another big platform. Obviously, you could just do this on the ground, but I think this would look better. Keep on building, keep on building. Okay, so what you're going to do three blocks. Wait, no, two blocks from this. Three blocks, never mind, three blocks from this. We're going to have something going like this. Alright, so this has zero or one tick, two ticks, three ticks four ticks and then this is going to be at four ticks with one and then like, and of course I didn't have enough platform space it just went off and then you're going to have four ticks with two and then all you're going to do is just connect all your redstone very simple la 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 
And now you should have all those activated. Kind of in a pattern. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, it worked. So now you are going to put redstone blocks all around. Because this is what you're going to get for the warning. That No, oh, somebody's here. Oh, okay, that's a problem. So, right here. A repeater, I think, right? Hold on. Yes, a repeater. Doesn't matter how many ticks. I, I just do one. And then place that stone right there, and that was, should work. There we go. Okay, it's working. But, it's blocked up. Alright, so here's where the... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to break that part. I'm sorry, bang. Rip. Alright. Come on. Okay, I know how to fix this. Hold on. Okay, so all you need to do, you have to make this little backup system. So with all of these at four ticks, just like this, copy that in your world right now. And then you have to make this thing right here, uh, a repeater at four ticks, and then just have your thing straight. And then you'll have something like this. It takes a while for the things to start going, but now we need to get into the clock which will keep on running this over and over again until you finally decide to not be annoyed. So, I'm just going to make a little platform here. I'm not going to take any chances of me having to build again, so I'm just going to make a huge platform. You probably won't need this much space, but I'm still going to build a huge class. A huge platform, just in case. There we go. <clears throat> so, you're just going to make a, red, a normal redstone clock, really easy. All of these set to four ticks, except a few. And what I mean by except a few is you're gonna have one row that's set to two ticks. So just like this. And then the final row, come on. Alright, the final row is two ticks. Or whatever, three ticks. That works too. Doesn't really matter. It's just how much or how long you want it to be and now you need to connect it so that should be able to work now there we go alright so now we got that going and then you are going to stop this uh, stop it stop it stop it alright so now you are going to just we are still going to use this precious clock. We are just going to build a little pathway that goes right into here. So, you're going to have something like that. And what that means is that you're going to have a repeater right here set to four ticks so it doesn't lock up. Alright, hopefully this works. It should work. Oh, I also moved that to a stone button. Oh, yeah, that probably won't work. Jeez, oh, wait, wait. Stop it. Stop. All right. I just realized something. I can't have it like this. All right. We locked up our redstone clock. Great. Why just so great? So the reason why that didn't work is that we were, uh, the, the redstone was supposed to be, uh, going into, or over here, and... We had the repeater set over here, so that wouldn't work. And we needed to go both ways, which is going to be tough. Because life is tough. But, let's just try this. I don't think we'll need it, as long as we have a repeater right here, set to four ticks. We should be all fine. Uh, let's try to kiss it. And then, where did my button go? Did I seriously break the button? I am so rude. Alright. Alright, so now we got it. Okay, no we don't. Hold on. Um, so I made a few changes, and it looks like we have done our own clock. So, I think I know what's happening here. So the power is going, is getting from this button. It's going, like, from this, and 
right here it's rejecting power back into it causing it to just go back and forth so all you need to do is just do that pretty much and screw all this stuff sorry i'm very sorry all right so you, I, i'm not even gonna bother so well i guess now we need to make a system where you can make it shut up so all you're going to do with this one is break it so I was trying to find a way how to make this like a lot better like you'll have to press the button but I'm sorry so all you're gonna do is just that wait for the redstone to come over there again and then it looks like you're done and then when you press the button again should start working yes ma'am all right now you have to break that again fine and that is it or that is it okay hopefully i can do my outro right this time i have not been able to do my outro right for so long but i think i can do it this time let's try this this is tense this is very very tense all right here we go but anyways guys that's gonna be the end of of this tutorial if you guys did enjoy please leave a like down below and if you guys want to see any more tutorials or games to play please comment that down below and if you guys want to see more content please subscribe and bye that wasn't that bad that time